part of getting older? Convincing younger people that I'm not old. What's uh, old? Well, whatever they think is old. Uh, convincing younger people that um, I, I can uh, have something uh, worthwhile to say to them. When you hear the expression 50s, the new 30, or 70s, the new 50, or however they do it. Oh, New York bus. Right to the bus goes by. Oh, hold on. What do you think? What happens? Uh, I think that um, they're exaggerating. <laughs> you know, 75 is the new 60, 60, 65 maybe. You believe that? Uh, for me, yes, but I, of course I've seen 75-year-olds who it's uh, the new 80, you know. What uh, would you say is the difference between you at 75 and your grandfather at 75? Um, my grandfather acted like he thought, knew he was old, and acted like he was old, and uh, was the prototypical old grandpa. Uh, and, uh, he didn't wear jeans, did he? No. He, he didn't, didn't go to hip places like Stumptown, did he? No. Uh, <laughs> he didn't, and uh, he uh, he wasn't open to new experiences, uh, which uh, I unfortunately lost my wife about eight months ago. But uh, I'm recovering. Uh, I'm a recovering widower, <laughs> and uh, I'm uh, having a new life, and uh, I'm uh, moving to Bali. Uh, in a couple of months, uh, try that lifestyle out. Not uh, brings trucks up. up. Go back money. to go back. You're moving to Bali. Yes. Why? That is so cool. Well, I have a son who lives there, and it seems like a good idea, at least to try it. I mean, I've never been there. It's a, it's the kind of adventure I probably should have had at uh, 30, but I didn't. Uh, so. So in that sense, 75 is the new 50, because I'm, I'm capable physically and mentally of, of being able to go there and, and do that. Yeah, I have to say, I learned about aging, certainly in show business from you, because I <laughs> watched you. you, I watched a career, you created Love American Style, which is one of all of Boomer's favorite shows. And I watched you lose your career in television when yes. you got to be in your early 50s. Right. And I was in my 30s, and I thought if it could happen to you, it could happen to me, and it did. And it but I to also everybody. watched you, and I want you to talk about saying, yeah. I watched you, I learned from you how to move forward, because you, for me, have always been a model of how to, I don't like the word age, but to progress in life. And you, just talk a minute, you're, you're constantly, like even now, Ingrid died, you're dating again. You're moving. You're always moving forward. I mean, explain just how have you done that? Because I don't think most people know how to do it. Uh, well, I'm curious. I think one, I'm curious, and two, um, even though I'm 75, I've never really grown up. I mean, I, I'm still a little kid in many ways, which sometimes can be a drag because you're a little naive and you get kicked around, but. On the other hand, uh, it keeps you fresh and open to new experiences. Well, I want to hear, I'm going to do another movie when you get back from Bali, because I think you're going to have a really rollicking well, yeah. time. I mean, the, the one reason I, I don't want to die is because I want to see how it all ends. I'm curious. Arnold Margolin, my hero, <laughs> at 50 and at 75. Have a great time in Bali. Thank you very much. <laughs>